நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டாமல் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அ ரெனோண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி and this is astrologer deepa and i am presenting you the english version of the tamil video in my last video i explained about the effects of moon in 12 different houses for the native of pisces ascendant in this video i am going to explain the concept of subhatva with a classic natal chart i have started to explain the subhatva of bhavas in my recent videos we have published a lot of videos explaining the subhatva of the significance of the planets that is karaka of the planets i have published a few videos explaining how to connect subhatva of the karaka that is significance of the planet and subhatva of the house in a natal chart those people who follow me have started to realize the importance of subhatva of the bhava you all remember that i come in live programs on youtube during the lockdown period you all know that i can identify the exact planetary position in one's natal chart regarding their profession without even looking at their chart as soon as they specify what profession they are that is i tell the planetary position up front without even looking at their natal chart which profession they are in the live program that was broadcasted on 23rd of july 2020 one of the live program followers asked me about the planetary position or combination for a pilot for working as a pilot i mentioned that when aquarius house and saturn or subhatva one can become a pilot if it is war plane then mars has to be subhatva because mars signifies the uniform services army etc the people who wear a uniform and work in the field of securing the people such as army policemen or even a watchman or signified by mars and based on subhatva of mars the rank of the profession and the domain will vary post explaining this i received an email that was brought to my notice one of my followers mentioned in the email that his son is working as a pilot in new zealand and whatever points i mentioned regarding the planet and bhava applies 100 percent in the natal chart of his son who works as a pilot i received the email the next day after publishing the video on youtube regarding the subhatva of the planet and the bhava regarding the pilot service i can even mention my follower name which is loganathan pr let me read what he has mentioned in his email my son is a commercial pilot in new zealand in my son's natal chart saturn resides in aquarius which is the 12th house and gets aspected by jupiter that resides in libra my son was born on 23rd 9 1994 6:34 pm indian standard time in dindigal my son is a commercial pilot in new zealand your prediction is 100% correct well this is what my follower loganathan pr has emailed me you can make 100% correct predictions when you understand how to connect subhatva of the planet and the bhava have you noticed the ascendant of the native who is son of loganathan pr 
he mentioned that the twelfth house is Aquarius. Obviously, his son is native of Pisces ascendant and his twelfth house is Subhatva by the aspect of Jupiter. In his natal chart, Saturn resides in the twelfth house that is Aquarius and Jupiter aspects by its fifth aspect from Libra. Since the native is Pisces ascendant, Aquarius becomes the twelfth house and this also proves my concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva. I always say that when 8th and 12th houses or Subhatva in one's natal chart, definitely the native will go abroad. For the native of Pisces ascendant, Jupiter is in the 8th house which is Libra and it aspects the 12th house which is Aquarius. The father says that his son is a commercial pilot in New Zealand and Jupiter resides in the house of Libra, aspecting Aquarius by its fifth aspect. How can you identify whether a person works as a commercial pilot or whether he operates a war plane? If one has to operate a war plane, then definitely Mars will indicate it. If Mars is highly Subhatva in his natal chart, then he will work as a pilot in the army and he will be responsible for flying the warplanes. Well, this is how you have to connect the Subhatva of the Karaka of the planet and Subhatva of the house. Many people have been disappointed that I am explaining only the natal charts of higher professions or the people who are above the middle class and never explain the chart of the people who are below middle class or who suffer in their life. In other words, I am explaining mostly the natal charts of the fortunate people and not the unfortunate people or people uh, below poverty line. I had never explained the natal chart of the most unfortunate man and I am only giving explanations for the natal charts of the people who are very fortunate in their life. Actually, in my videos, I teach only the higher level of astrological concepts, not the basic fundamentals of astrology. I always reiterate and insist on a point to my followers that they should never make predictions based on the number of the house that is for example don't make predictions like if a planet resides in the first house what will happen or don't worry about sixth house or eighth house or twelfth house that they are very inauspicious i have been researching astrological concepts for more than 40 years and the almighty has permitted me to explore certain astrological concepts and I am sharing all the knowledge that I acquired openly without holding secrets with you all guys. I am sharing the knowledge that I acquired as a result of many many years of research and I am teaching many students. So what would I suggest to my followers is Please forget the number of the house after learning all the fundamentals of Vedic astrology from the books. I mentioned the very same point in the class conducted by Astrovision through Zoom meeting. Please forget about the number of the house. Please don't make prediction like Venus is in the 8th house, Mercury is in the 7th house. Jupiter resides in the 6th house and consequently it is going to deliver bad effects. Please forget about all these numbers. When you do it, you will get a greater understanding and greater perception of the astrological concepts. If only you understand the concepts of Subhatva, Pabhatva of the Karaka of the planets, 
and subhatva and pabatva of the bhava you will get a greater understanding if only you understand the concepts that i explain which are pabatva and subhatva you can make correct predictions you will not be any more afraid of the planets residing in 8th house or 12th house in addition to this many people are afraid of the retrograde planets people have fear of retrograde planets and the fear of padagadibadi people are afraid of everything many people get confused about astrological concepts as they read a lot of books and listen to lots of youtube videos posted by others have i given any importance to the retrograde planets while explaining in my videos have i said that the 8th house and 12th house are totally inauspicious astrology is an art where the learner should perceive the subtleties of astrological concepts today morning a lady from usa called me and requested that i should never stop publishing the videos that i am doing on youtube because it relieves many people from stress and pain she said even though she does not understand the higher level of astrology still she follows me and tries to understand the concepts she told me that the videos that i publish at 7 pm indian standard time which is 10:30 in morning in her country she also added that not only does she watch my live programs on youtube even her husband children and all the family members watch my youtube videos since her husband works from home for a long time they find the opportunity to watch my youtube live videos together on their smart television from their country it was a huge surprise to me when she told me that all her family members including her husband watch my live programs on youtube though they did not know much astrological concepts she also told me that she learned a lot of positive news about me from india and she started watching my youtube live programs she also told me that she does not miss any one of my videos on youtube well in this video i'm going to explain the subhatva of the karaka of the planet and the subhatva of the bhava with a natal chart of a very very important person this native is a very old person he's 93 years old he's a person who's very active for his age he's able to take care of all his day to day activities that is he goes to bathroom himself without anybody's support and he can feed himself that is he can eat his food himself he's very healthy and more importantly his mental status is very good his speech is good and his thought process is good though he is old he can manage to do his day to day activities and more importantly he still has a great memory and thought process and one more important point is this very old man who is more than 90 years of age was affected by corona and he also recovered from corona we saw that many people who are just more than 70 years or 80 years of age succumb to corona but this aged man who is more than 90 years of age recovered from corona those who were younger had high blood pressure and were highly diabetic eventually became the victims of corona and this old man who's more than 93 years old of age got admitted into the hospital because of corona and he recovered very well and got discharged from the hospital and he is in very good health now he will definitely be healthy for a few more months now we'll take a look at his natal chart 
He was born on 11/9/1927, 4 p.m. Chennai. He comes from a very, very highly reputed family. And I know him very well. And this is a very classical example that I can make use of to explain the Subhatma of the Karaka of the planet and the Bhava. He was born on 11 9 in the evening at 4 p.m. in Chennai. Let me give more information about this old person. He is the co-father-in-law of one of the reputed big families of Tamil Nadu politics. He is Sampandi of one of the most reputed families of Tamil Nadu politics. This old man's co-father-in-law expired and he is a VVIP who had a remarkable fame and name in Tamil Nadu politics. He is number one VVIP. We call certain people as legends. There are certain people who brings a huge transformation in certain domains. The co-father-in-law of this old man was such a legend. He was such a great politician who had remarkable achievements in Tamil Nadu politics. He expired, he is no more and this old man, the co-father-in-law is still alive. Now you will be able to see the natal chart of this old man. If a person has to live for 93 years, then you have to check the 8th house. He is still active, so please check the 8th house. This whole video is about the Subhatva of the 8th house and the Subhatva of the Karaka, that is significance of the planet. The native is Capricorn Ascendant and Aquarius Rashi. The moon resides in the second house which is heading very very closely towards Purnima. And in the third house Jupiter resides in Pisces in its own house and you will see Rahu in the sixth house. I often reiterate a point that in a natal chart of a fortunate person, Rahu and Ketu should be in 612 axis. And you can see Rahu in the 6th house in this natal chart. Sun and Venus resides in the 8th house which is Leo. And in the 9th house you can see that Mercury is exalted and Mars resides in the 9th house. And in the 11th house, Saturn resides, which is the Ascendant Lord. And in the 12th house, Ketu resides. This is the natal chart of the old man. This old man whose age is 93 years lives a very contented life. In those days, a man did not limit the number of children to just two like the current society. This old man has both male children and female children. He has got a lot of grandchildren as well. His life was complete by all means. He had seen the marriage of his granddaughter and is going to see the marriage of the great grandchild. He is going to see all the auspicious events about his great granddaughter. This old man lives such a complete life and he is a blessed one. Now let us see about the Subhatva of the Karaka and the Baba. When the Ascendant House or the Ascendant Lord is highly Subhatva, the destiny will spread a red carpet for such natives and the destiny will bring all the auspiciousness to the life of the native. And many of you are really, really afraid of the retrograde planets, right? In his natal chart, two planets are retrograde. Both Jupiter and Venus are retrograde in his natal chart. One more important point about this person is 
that his wife is also still alive. His wife is four or five years younger than him and she is living such a beautiful life with her husband. She is also alive currently. She might be 87 or 88 years old. Both are healthy to a certain extent. Both were attacked by coronavirus. Both were attacked by coronavirus and both got admitted in the hospital and both recovered from the illness. Though Venus is retrograde in his natal chart, his wife has good longevity and he has a good marital life. In his natal chart, both the natural benefits, Jupiter and Venus are retrograde. Both the natural benefits are retrograde. When Mars, Saturn and Jupiter reside in the 6th house, 7th house and 8th house to the Sun, it will become retrograde. Venus is in the 8th house in his natal chart. Venus is in the 8th house and please note that it is also retrograde. I myself have written that for those in whose natal chart Venus is retrograde, they will not have a satisfactory marital life. In my books, Jodidam Innum Deva Ragasiyam, Jodidam Innum Maha Arputam, I have written a point that when Venus is retrograde, the native will not get a satisfactory marital life. From my experience, I wrote that in one's natal chart, if Venus is retrograde, then they don't get a satisfactory marital life. Well, let us come to the next point. From my research, I explored another truth. In case if Venus is retrograde, what is the antidote? If you observe this natal chart, you can find Chandra Adi Yoga. It is this yoga I often reiterate in my videos. You can definitely see that Venus is in the 7th house to the Purnima moon and Venus resides as retrograde in the 8th house to the ascendant. This is the reason that this old man has a good marital life though Venus is retrograde in his natal chart. What is the reason? Venus gets aspected by the full moon whose auspiciousness is considered to be equal to that of Jupiter. The native is Purattadi Nakshatra that is Purva Badra Nakshatra. The moon is not Purnima indeed, but it is heading very closely towards Purnima. This moon has 90% of the light energy of the Purnima moon. Or let me even say it has 95% of the light energy of the Purnima moon. The moon resides in Puratadi Nakshatra that is Purva Badra Nakshatra. This man is going to undergo major planetary period of Mars and minor planetary period of Saturn. Coming December 2020, the major planetary period of Mars is going to commence. Saturn is the house lord of the ascendant house and also the second house. Saturn is the house lord of the first and the second house in his natal chart. Please try to understand what I try to say. The ascendant lord is also the lord of the second house, thus becoming Marakadipati. And then he will undergo the minor planetary period of Mercury, which is lord of sixth house. If you make calculations whether it is Marakadipati or the Lord of the Sixth House or Ashtamadipati, you will understand and explore much more. December 15, 2020, he is going to undergo 
the major planetary period of Mars and minor planetary period of Saturn. If you see in the software of Astrovision, they would have ended the Dasha Bukti period until 2023. They would have not given Dasha Bukti period after the year of 2023 for this person. He is living a very satisfactory and complete life. I explained the concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva after researching thousands of natal charts. Now let me explain all the Bhava in his natal chart. Indeed, this video is intended to explain the Subhatva of the 8th Bhava. However, I am planning to explain all the Bhavas in this video. Let me begin with the 8th house. This man is more than 93 years old. He is living such a complete contented life. His life will have a good end after one year. A satisfactory life and a beautiful end. He has been living with grandchildren, sons and daughters happily. And more importantly, all the family members are affectionate towards him. And he is such a disciplined man. So far there was not even a single complaint against him in the society. He had lived so far such a beautiful, flawless life. The people who know him will admire his discipline and the way he lives his life. Well, how does he have such good longevity? That is our question. The eighth house is the reason for it. If somebody crosses 90 years old, what will be the valid reasons for it? Subhatva of the Ascendant Lord and the Ascendant House, Subhatva of the Eighth House, Subhatva of the Eighth House Lord, and in addition to all these, the planet, which is the significator of longevity, Saturn should be Subhatva. If it is a malefic planet, the planet should have Sukshma strength. These are the points that you have to check in order to find how long a person will live. Now let us start from the ascendant house of this natal chart. This old man is a native of Capricorn ascendant. The natural significator of longevity, Saturn becomes the ascendant lord itself. And this Saturn is aspected by Jupiter which is not affected by any other planet. Only two planets are aspecting the Jupiter, which are Mercury and Mars. Mars and Jupiter, needless to say, they are friends, mutual friends. And Mercury is an exalted planet here. In this natal chart, Jupiter, which has got very good light energy, without being affected by any malefics, Aspects the ascendant Lord Saturn, which is also the natural significator of longevity. I hope you would have noticed that not only ascendant Lord is Saturn, it is also the Rashi Lord. He is the native of Capricorn ascendant and Aquarius Rashi. Saturn, which is the ascendant Lord and Rashi Lord, is aspected by Jupiter, which resides in its own house, Pisces. Jupiter aspects the ascendant Lord, Rashi Lord, natural significator of longevity, with its ninth aspect, with full light energy. So by the aspect of Jupiter, Saturn, which is the ascendant Lord, and the natural significator of longevity, got Subhatva. Now, let us check the 8th house. The 8th house is Leo and the 8th house Lord is Sun. Sun resides in its own house. And Venus is in conjunction with Sun and it got combusted by the Sun. 
the combusted venus makes the sun subhatva in addition to this the eighth house and the eighth house lord both got subhatva by the aspect of purnima moon which has got enormous light energy are you getting all my points the eighth house is subhatva the eighth house lord is subhatva the ascendant lord is subhatva venus indeed is not supposed to be combusted by sun but what is the antidote for this shortcoming the aspect of purnima moon or the moon that has good light energy is the antidote for combusted venus to function normally here purnima moon aspects the eighth house leo and makes the eighth house subhatva and it also makes the eighth house lord subhatva which is sun and jupiter makes the ascendant lord saturn subhatva lagna is the only house which has not get any subhatva the ascendant house is not aspected by jupiter or any other natural benefic however the ascendant house was not aspected by any malefic as well saturn which is the ascendant lord who got subhatva aspects its own house by its third aspect it is because of these planetary position this person lives a healthy lifestyle even till 93 years of age please don't bring the number of the bhava here please don't make predictions like the first house lord is in the 12th house or the 9th house lord is in the 9th house and venus is in the 8th house to the ascendant house etc you cannot bring the point that venus is in the 8th house to the ascendant house in his natal chart it does not apply here when you understand my concepts of subhatva and bhavatva you will definitely not give importance to the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house some astrologers try to make predictions like the 5th house lord is in the 8th house and saturn aspects the 5th house and they come to a prediction like the person will not have male children but this person has got two male children even if the planet resides in the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house even if the planet is retrograde or even if the planet is combusted despite all these shortcomings when the planet gets complete subhatva it becomes an antidote for all the shortcomings here in this natal chart we can say there are two jupiters are you surprised what does it mean the purnima moon acts like a jupiter that is a complete natural benefic and there is jupiter as well in good status both purnima moon and jupiter gives a lot of subhatva in this natal chart jupiter aspects mars and saturn which resides in the 9th and 11th house respectively and the sun and venus which reside in the 8th house to the ascendant or aspected by purnima moon which has complete light energy and more importantly not only sun and venus mercury is also having chandra adiyoga now you can see there is complete yoga in his natal chart In the next video I'm going to continue explaining this natal chart. If you have questions write it in the comment section of this video. I'm going to explain each and every bhava of this natal chart and I'm going to explain you that how my concepts of subhatva can be a perfect medicine for all the shortcomings you find in the natal chart. Well this is question time what is the antidote when venus is retrograde in order to function normally please write your answers in the comment section of this video we have given the links for 
all the English YouTube videos done so far. Thanks for writing your suggestions and feedback to astro.writers at gmail.com. Please keep writing to us. Thank you.